Hey guys, I'm Nathan, and today I'm recording an updated video configuration tutorial for Double Counter. I had already made one back in May 2020, but a lot of features have changed. Uh, for example, the prefix is not the same, and if you're checking out the old uh, tutorial, you might be lost, so that's why I'm making a new one. Uh, I'm gonna uh, make it very easy, I'm gonna make it step by step, and you should be ready in under 5 minutes. Once Double Counter is inside your server, the very first step is to check bot permissions. So for this, you're gonna go over to your server settings, then roles and double counter. First, double counter needs to have the administrator permissions turned on to run properly. So you need to make sure this right here is ticked. Another very important thing to check for is to make sure the double counter role is at the top of your role list. Otherwise, due to Discord API limitations, double counter won't be able to assign roles to joining members. So this is due to the way uh, Discord handles permissions. And for this, you need to make sure it is above any other role, such as Verified or Members, or any other role uh, you might have in your server at the time you add the bot. So the safest option is to uh, make the uh, double counter role at the top of your role list. This way you make sure that you don't have any issues. Then you can save, and once it's done, you can start the actual bot configuration. So first of all, running dc.config anywhere in your server will display all configuration options as well as all commands you need to run to get the bot up and running in your server. So there are three of them and the first command to run is dc.config channel welcome channel. So in my case it's going to be dc.config channel and hashtag welcome. This is my welcome channel. While your welcome channel is not actually used by the bot, uh, it is used well, like we use it as a starting point for your server in our database. So you need to set it up properly. Uh, you can set it up to uh, your rules channel, for example, or your welcome logs channel, uh, whatever channel you want, but you need to set it up. The second uh, configuration item to define is your verification role. To do this, run dc.config role and your verified role. So in my case, it's going to be verified. Uh, this is actually a role that will be uh, granted to users when they pass the verification uh, upon joining. You also need to make sure uh, this role has access to all public channels, while uh, the everyone role, like the default role uh, people get when they join your server, um, does not have access to all those channels. So um, the uh, read permission, the read permission for all channels in your server, for all public channels, uh, should be exclusive to uh, your verified role to ensure uh, users cannot bypass the, uh, the uh, double counter verification process. So this is, uh, this is all for your second configuration item. And finally, the third configuration item is dc.config logs logs channel. So this is, um, this is the place double counter will send uh, all uh, alt account intrusion attempts, all VPN intrusion attempts, uh, all, um, all of the important stuff. So in my case, it's gonna be logs. Uh, so all logs are going to be sent here, as well as important bot updates. Uh, and also if we need to uh, specifically chat with your server, uh, we can send um, aimed messages uh, here and you will be able to reply to us. So the only thing remaining to do is to make sure all channel permissions are set up correctly. So you uh, want to go to uh, your, uh, all, for all your public channels, you want to go uh, to your channel permissions. And to make sure the verified role, the verified role has uh, view channel permission uh, turned on, while the uh, everyone role has view channel permission turned off. So this way, you make sure only verified members are able to see your public channels, uh, so the verification is efficient. The good news is, once you've done this, the configuration is already complete. So now you can run, if you want, dc.settings to uh, see extra settings you can enable. For example, language, mode, autoban, logs, ping, age, unverified, kick. Uh, so there's a ton of settings, but everything should be uh, already running uh, on your server. And if you need any help anytime, you can join our support server uh, and we will be glad to help you. Uh, we have a, a complete support team. So feel free to uh, ask us any question uh, anytime. We're here 24 seven. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, configuration tutorial. It was quick. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Bye.